after directing a number of plays by Edward Albee and becoming, you know, quite a friend of his and a colleague, um, directed one of his most famous plays, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? And Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf um, was a play written in 1962. And so I directed a revival of this play at, that started at the Steppenwolf Theater in Chicago. And Steppenwolf has a core acting company, and I was lucky enough to work with two of those people to play the very iconic roles of George and Martha. So Tracy Letts, the playwright, also an actor, and Amy Morton, an actor and director, the Steppenwolf Company, were my George and Martha. And then my other, it's a four-character play, Nick and Honey um, were actors that I met um, through auditions, and my Honey... Um, is Carrie Coon, who's now very much, I would say, a TV and film star. It was a show that we were doing for Chicago that then we then hopped to Arena Stage in Washington, D.C. And um, that's where it was supposed to stop. This was supposed to be a delicious regional theater, Chicago, D.C. production. A Broadway producer came down to see it in Washington, D.C. and decided... Um, it's a three-act play, decided at the first intermission that he had to bring it to New York, that he had to produce it on Broadway. And so one year later, we got the team back together and re-rehearsed it. And um, we had all done you know, so much work in between in that year. We were all stronger artists for doing that work. So we got to come back together and we put on this great play and great production on Broadway. And this was um, my second Broadway production at the time. So this was a year after I had done a play by Bruce Norris, another longtime collaborator and friend of mine called Clybourne Park. And I uh, was nominated for a Tony Award for that play and that production as well. And one year later was doing this Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf and got nominated for a variety of awards, including the Tony Award, again, as did the production, as did my leading man, as did my leading lady, as did my supporting cast. Awards are really exciting and fun, but really what they are is an advertisement opportunity for your show. And so it's your job as a nominee to talk to press, to go to all the events, to get dressed up and present how exciting your show is. So that's what we did as a cohort because three of my four actors also got nominated. Um, and so we would show up and we would, you know, be wined and dined, but also expected to talk about our show. And we went through it as this little group. So it was very gratifying and fun. And then, you know, the evening of the Tony Awards, we're sitting in Radio City Music Hall and I'm next to my boyfriend and, and also my two agents. And um, partway through, so... Um, uh, the Tony Awards, I think, started at 7 p.m. I knew that the directing awards would be around 8.30. Um, partway through that 90 minutes, um, I could feel my first my hands and my feet and then my arms and my legs get colder and colder. I was so nervous. I was nervous. So my body was responding and sort of telling me to get out. But I couldn't get out because, you know, it was my job to stay put. I was one of five directors being nominated. I was the only woman nominated um, for director of a play. Uh, Diane Paulus had just won as the only woman nominated for director of a musical. Um, and uh, so when they called my name, I ran up. And the first thing I said was, well, Vegas got this one wrong because I was not expected to win. Um, and then I thanked, you know, I thanked a lot of, I thanked a lot of people. It's a celebration of the Broadway community. It's a celebration of, you know, a lot of hard work going into a lot of shows, but it was great for that production to be recognized. You know, this was, um, it's Edward Albee's, you know, sort of great canonical play to have it be recognized as best revival, best director. Tracy Letts won as best actor, best leading man. Um, it was a very fun, fun evening. And you walk around with this crazy heavy statuette and you go to all these parties and, you know, met a lot of interesting people, um, you know, uh, like met Tom Hanks, met Glenn Close for the first time. You know, it's a, it's, it's a celebration.